Hmm. Afternoon. We're uh, somewhere getting loaded. We're already loaded. I gotta finish doing the bungees down this one side of the tarp. Just a bunch of aluminum extrusions. It's 50, about 49, 50 feet long. Somewhere in that area. I just stopped because I'm getting the shakes. I feel like I, uh, I wet my pants. Or a better way to put it, it feels like I jumped into a lake. My shirt, my pants, everything's soaked. I had to throw three, three steel tarps on this one. It's kind of weird because in the requirements it, it called for an eight foot tarp. And I knew that was going to be sketchy, but I figured with the, the, um, I have the three steel tarps, which I can turn them sideways and do eight foot. And then I got the end pieces uh, so that I can do um, the, the smoke tarps so that I can do the ends. But because it's 49 feet, I think I might have been a little short. I think I would have had to go bare on a spot. but. It's not even eight foot tall. It's not even four foot tall. Well, it might be four foot tall, but it's about a foot in from the side of the trailer. So it's not, I'm not 90 degrees at eight and a half foot wide. Well, we'll finish up and I'll pull out and I'll give you guys a quick show of the, of the whole load. All right, so here's the load. Um, I got a bunch of the tarp tucked up under the front here. I did the same thing in the back as you'll see in a second. Let's see if I can get a good shot of it. That works pretty good. Got it all tucked up underneath here. We're sticking out just a little bit. A little bit of a belly. It's not blocking the lights or anything. All right, we got a couple bungees coming down. Uh, my biggest thing was I did one from here to there. Then I got a couple coming down. And I got one coming across the back here. And it holds it in all nice and tight doesn't allow the air to get down in there it's still gonna get in there a little bit especially through cracks like this and stuff it'll um as we get down the road it'll a lot of it'll come down so should be pretty good well I figured I'd uh slap a little something up here Matt Carlisle right now got here last night got the laundry going right now and put the detergent back in the truck if uh, anybody's interested there's a new diner over here that opened up a couple months ago in Carlisle it's right off the northbound the northbound off ramp for exit 52 um, there's my truck down there Next uh, anyway, really good food. Uh, I found out it just opened up a couple months ago. I went over there with Chris, CT, uh, and had dinner. So if anybody's going to be staying in the area, it's it's worth the walk over there for some food. Um, oh, and I officially got my CB up and working. So I'll show you that real quick. So I spent a little time in here today cleaning up uh, for the for a while now, well ever since I got in this truck anyway. 
Uh, I thought my CB had taken a complete crap. Well, earlier I went through the menu here. See if that, that'll work a little bit better. Um, I went through the menu here and I went down to settings and I was just playing around with it. And I went to default and I cleared it and I went to the default settings. Um, I don't know how to I know there it is exit anyway I went to that and then I clicked on the button and it, it seemed to be doing okay but it still wasn't sending anything out so uh, the biggest thing is the talk back I never heard myself on the thing so I didn't think the talk back was working so I went and I bought a speaker and I just put it here I'm uh, let's see if I can tighten it up a little bit but I think I like it there it seems to be pretty good. I was going to return this speaker, but it seems to be working a lot better than the radio. I can hear out of that speaker a whole lot better. So I think I'm just going to keep it. I also went and got myself a Cobra mic. And as soon as I got the Cobra mic, it, for, I, I keyed up and two seconds later, not even, somebody came back and said that the radio was working. So I was also talking to Chris that I could hear while we were on the phone, I could hear it when I keyed up and I could hear myself clear as day. So the good news is I don't need a new radio. At least I still want to get um, a newer radio. I want to get the, um, I'm not going to remember the name of it now. Striker. I think it's the Striker I want to get. Um, so I was going to get another Cobra just to, you know, 130 bucks so that I had a radio. Uh, but now I, at least now I can just wait until I have the money for the, for the striker. The striker's like $500 or something like that. So, but this one is working great. Um, uh, the other thing was I lost this button a long time ago. I don't know what happened to it. Somehow it got pulled off. Um, <laughs> it just dawned on me today that I could take it off of the talk back button and put it over here. So now I'm not sitting there struggling trying to, to grab a hold of the little metal knob. Now I can actually um, turn it on and off with ease. The, the off part was the part that was really hard with that. So that's what I got. Uh, the diner was really good. I got the uh, chicken and shrimp stir fry. Uh, Chris had gotten a burger. It was, I mean, I, as far as I know, I, he said it was really good, um, and mine was really good. I couldn't finish it, so the other half is sitting in the refrigerator, uh, probably for tomorrow's lunch or dinner or whatever. But that's it. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff wiped down. Truck straightened up a little bit. We're doing dirty clothes right now. Um, moved the GPS. Kind of made things flow a little bit better move the camera again well that's not, not my camera my phone holder I had it I had it over there now it's over here it was up a little higher I think that'll do for really good for uh, road footage um, yeah so we'll see you tomorrow when when we get unloaded take all three of them tarps off and hopefully we can find something right after tomorrow uh, by tomorrow afternoon. I'm, I'm hoping maybe we can get another Carlisle load and we can head back out west. Uh, but we'll see what happens. You got a smile that makes the sun rise. You make it shine. But I can see that you don't realize. And that's what made me fall in love. Cause you
I got everything put away except for my my two tarps which I'm just waiting for them to clear off the front of the trailer so that I can throw them up on the front of the trailer and strap them down to the headache rack instead of trying to squeeze between the load and the headache rack and trying to lift the tarps up and everything and they got that funky sideways forklift thing let me show you real quick A little hard to see with the rain, but I'm not going back out there until they're done. They got one bundle off so far, I think. I don't know what the point was in freaking tarping the thing. The whole thing's getting soaking wet right now. I mean, aside of protecting the plastic from getting torn up, so I mean, it is all wrapped in plastic and stuff, so it's not that big of a deal, but. Currently, I don't have a load available. Uh, there was one load I was just looking at. It was precast concrete going down to Florida. But it's really heavy. It's 48,541 pounds. So, I'm not... I had hard enough time. Like, if I didn't... If I don't get any fuel and I stay about a quarter of a tank, I could, I could do it. I could pull it off put a quarter of a tank going all the way down to Florida and we're talking like north of Miami Florida pays pretty good um, the mileage isn't great it's like 226 a mile but the miles are there so it's like twenty seven hundred dollars but I don't want to drive that far or I don't want to I don't want to drive you know, yeah I don't want to drive that far with that little fuel that would just be, that'd be a pain in the butt. So, hopefully something else pops up. I'm not really in, uh, uh, thrilled about trying to get anything today because I don't want to do anything else in the ring. Um, I think there's one load coming out of Carlisle today. I'll have to double check that. That's all I got right this second. That's it. We're out of here. That was uh, definitely an interesting load. Interesting delivery place. Uh, it's Honestly, it's in kind of the worst area to be in. Uh, now i got to come down through this, this small residential area in order to get back to the main road. The way I came in was not right. Um, it was doable. I made it. It wasn't it wasn't that bad so uh, but with lesser experience I probably would have had more more of an issue. Because as you guys seen in that in that clip I had to go all the way to the left of that road and I had to take that entire intersection just just to make the trailer clear the turn and it just barely cleared that turn. So if I had a, even a slightly larger truck like uh, truck and van over there, I don't think I would have been able to make that turn. I would have had to come up around this way. So 
So anyway, we're off to the truck stop. Turn left onto Bonds Mill Road. We'll go over to the truck stop for the rest of the day probably. Hopefully we can find something and head that way later. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. Stay safe.